Hello and welcome back to the channel and another episode of Ask Ricky. I think we're on episode four, actually, and this series is all about you asking me a question anonymously through a Google form, and it can be about deafness, disability in general, which includes mental illness, also about things like bisexuality and child abuse, etc., etc., anything I've talked about really already on this channel, and I want to help you out with advice because from personal experiences, right? So, if you happen to miss out on any of the three previous episodes, I will have a playlist up above, so be sure to go check that out after you're done watching this one. And so you don't miss out on any future uploads, be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell right after so you will be notified when I upload another episode. Also consider being a fantastic, wonderful member of the channel. That's a new thing that we have. You see that little join button down there beside the subscription button. For $2 or $5, you will get exclusive perks like emotes, badges, and discounted merchandise, things like that. So join a pointer family today. We will have a good time. There's cookies and coffee over there to the table on your left when you come in. So for today's question, we're gonna talk about some deafness things again and anonymous ass. I'm 22 years old and I'm entirely deaf on my right side and can mostly hear on my left side, but I grew up mainstream and I'm used to it. Past couple of years, I realized that I struggle a lot. I've adapted to hearing and I want to learn sign, but I feel like I'm being that person or my validity isn't enough. I've always been pushed aside. Oh, you hear fine, you're lying. That's just an excuse. It's hard when you never had access to that community and don't really know where to start. I've done Facebook groups, looked for meetups and schools, but I'm afraid of not being seen as valid. First and foremost, I want to promote my friend's merch line because she actually has a shirt that goes along with this whole thing. It's a you are valid or just a valid line and it's for the deaf members who feel like they are not valid and it's just a nice little way, a nice little nice way. What am I saying? <laughs> It's just a feel-good, nice message for anyone. Hopefully, it'll, it'll cheer people up. So I'm going to put that link down below. I don't know if she's selling it right now, but there is a waiting list, I'm sure. So I understand. In fact, we kind of have similar like things here. Like, there's nothing on this side, and there's barely anything on this side anymore. Yeah, I, I also grew up mainstream, as you likely know, and or if you're new and don't know, I was mainstream, which means that I basically grew up in the hearing world, and I still am pretty much in the hearing world. And it can be very, very isolating. Thanks, hearing folks. Thanks. And when you basically pass as hearing because you speak, and if, especially if you have a voice that is more clear than other deaf people, you know, mainstream deaf people who voice and can be made understandable. We do have more privilege than deaf people who don't speak or don't have a clear speech pattern and people won't really be able to understand them. Unfortunately, that doesn't make things all of a sudden easy. We still have that barrier with hearing people where they suddenly think that we are actually hearing just because of how we grew up. But the feeling of not being valid, it does come from getting that feeling from both sides, right? Sometimes both sides will think you're fake and sometimes both sides will not. One or the other will be the one that thinks that you're not really valid or you're not really this and that. And basically what I want to say to that is you are valid and f all of those people. If you want to learn sign language because you think that's going to be very beneficial to you and I do agree with that, you do it. Find a class, maybe there's a, a, an affordable class. I don't know your financial situation, but if you can afford that, look into that. I know libraries sometimes have free classes or get-togethers, socials. I'm going to assume or presume that you live in the United States or Canada that isn't part of Quebec, and lifeprint.com is a great resource. I've used Bill Vickers, Bill Vickers for years. Facebook groups can also be very helpful. Now, I myself personally avoid most of them for personal reasons, but there is one in particular that I am a member of, and I'm gonna ask the creator, because they're a friend of mine, I'm gonna ask if I can put that up here in a video. If I get the approval for them, I'm gonna let you know what it is and put it around here so you can join. 
I love this group. There's a couple of people that I'm very familiar with and I think we have a great time in there. Unfortunately, the fact of the matter is in life, you're going to come across people from all walks of life that will accept you for who you are, believe you, consider you as one of their own or part of, you know, this community. And there's going to be people that will not. And I, I still try to tell myself this all the time. You just have to ignore them and stick with the people that will take you in. I know, I know it's easier said than done because although I have gotten better at, com compared to a few years ago, I have gotten a little bit better about not like being so upset when a certain percentage is like, Ugh. but I sometimes it still hurts a lot, but it is what it is. And sometimes you can't change people's minds and get them to realize that you are valid, but you will find the other group of people that will take you in. Me, Chrissy, Jules, Martha, and a whole plethora of people, all right? And I don't know if po a good portion of them even watch these videos and will see this, but in the back of, in spirit, in the back of their heads, they will be there for you. But I, you're, you're gonna find people. I, I, I know that it's just so easy to get caught up and the negative side of things, but don't give up on looking for that community, whether it's online or in person or both. I really recommend both, especially in person, because still on the internet, it can be a little bit lonely. And you just having that experience in person opens so many doors and changes so many things for the better it really does. But yes, please go learn that sign language. Go pick up those history books and read stuff, you know? Go dip your toes into the events, into the community, and find your new friends. It will be absolutely worth it. And remember that you are valid, okay? Should I get all open, close, and personal with the mic like I did with my bisexuality one? You are valid, okay? Am I even here? You are valid, okay? I'm gonna get closer to the camera as well. You are valid. You are valid in my book. You are a part of my little family. You are a part of a couple of my friend family because I know that they will with me and say the same damn thing. Yeah. Probably straighten myself out. <laughs> I hope that helps you out. I hope that gives you the encouragement that you need to go out and flourish and spread your wings. And I hope that other people watching this will be able to do the same in the comments because I think the more encouragement, the better, right? That's all I have to say on that. If you have a question that you would like to submit for yourself, I will have the Google form link down below in the description box. So hopefully, maybe you'll, you'll be able to see your own question and an answer in a future video. Be sure to share this video with your friends, anybody else who may be questioning, feeling like they're not valid enough, perk their spirits up raise them up, share this video so they know that they are valid, all right? And they are loved by me and lots of other people. If you would like to translate this video, you know the drill, the link is down below. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video and I will see you later. Bye.